uh, this morning and I said I had pictures of it and uh, so I'm going to go through here these are all my GoPros and uh, that I haven't edited over and it, it got it got corrupted so I'm going to delete all these anyways what this is about was the uh, my truck that I had that went to the shop due to DPF issues uh, emissions controls so uh, backstory real quick I made a video about it if you want to uh, go check that out go ahead uh, I did make a video a few weeks about it <clears throat> but the short version is it goes in the shop for a uh, DPF issues and I get it back and it has to go back to the shop and I get back and so on and so forth so I went to uh, Swift Transportation in Columbus Ohio their shop and they messed it up and this is the Columbus Ohio uh, Kenworth dealership that uh, caused the first issue here when uh, they said we're going to fix it and as you can see uh, when I took it out of the Columbus Ohio Swift Transportation in Columbus Ohio to going to the uh, shop in uh, Kenworth of Columbus in Columbus Ohio this uh, this is what they showed me here was that this connector was not connected in there so that was part of the issue while I was having issues with it uh, let's see here let me go back also while they were installing the uh, the can oh well you can see that can't really see it that well but there's a dent right there inside of the can which caused uh, which could cause a screen this screen right here to have a leak uh, again the glare on this thing is horrid I can zoom in. but there's a flat spot right here this is where they use a jack to try to jack the uh, DPF can back into the spot so they flat spotted that uh, so I got out of Columbus Ohio uh, Kenworth of Columbus Ohio got down Donner's Pass and I had more issues and uh, you guys are going to see a familiar sight from one of these other ones actually this one right here so you see how this is right here that's uh, this is right here is a uh, DPF uh, uh, fuel line right here this is the fuel line which goes so DPF flows to here into here and comes out here this is the uh, pump for it and it pumps it right into the uh, filter where it burns it off ah, just get... so you're gonna see that line again right here so this is what Columbus kind of what the Columbus did when they was trying to put it on there they twisted it around I don't know how well you can see that they twisted it around broke and cracked it so that line had to be replaced this issue right here was just supposed to be an exhaust clamp right here and obviously this one right there I'm missing a nut here a bolt here and there's only one bolt there holding the thing up this is the only bolt and strap that was holding the entire emissions up so if that would have fell my entire uh, exhaust would have fell out See this right here is supposed to be connected here. It's supposed to be a strap around this. That strap is gone. You can see where the rust was at. So there was a, supposed to be a strap around this and plugged in there. They never put the strap back on, I guess. Or well, they didn't put it back on correctly. I think this is the last one. Okay. And this right here, I mentioned in my video that there was a this this wire harness underneath the only clamp that was holding the thing up. Uh, was underneath of here this entire wiring harness as you can see it was not placed in there correctly because it's supposed to be over here with a bigger end they, they pinched it off in there they use zip ties to hold this together instead of bolts look at this seriously a zip tie that's holding this exhaust right there 
that is now holding this wire, it's pinched this wire, it's holding the exhaust up, and it's underneath here. So this entire wire harness right here had to be replaced. So, that's a fail. And that's, uh, that's what my truck looked like after they did what they did. So, um, I am actually seeking legal advice, so hopefully we can get this resolved. So then, oh well, we'll get, we'll, we'll just go as we go, and, uh, we'll get, hopefully we get this, uh, dealt with.